Let me ask you a question about Iran, since that's, that's our, it's our first thing. Right. Who, whose team are we on uh, <laughs> in, in the Middle East? Because I know, so we're fighting with Iraqis to defeat ISIS, right. along with Iran. But in Yemen, we're fighting Iran <laughs> with Iraqis and Saudis. That's not quite right, but that's okay. <laughs> the, uh, are but, we but look, who's, who's, well, whose you, team are... Look, look he, he, here's... Who are we bombing? <laughs> right now, we're going after ISIL, and we've got a 60-country coalition, and that's a top priority. Um, but with respect to Iran, look, this is an adversary. Mm -hmm. They are anti-American, anti-Israel, anti-Semitic. They sponsor terrorist organizations like Hezbollah. Sounds like a good partner for peace. Probably. Uh, well, as, as, as has been said frequently, you don't make peace with your friends. Right. So the, the issue here is, do we want them having a nuclear weapon? Right. And the answer is no. Uh, and the question is, what's the best way to do that? We've the, tried everything else. And the deal that we've put together, yeah. uh, I can say that Iran will not be able to get a nuclear weapon. We've cut off the four major pathways for getting a nuclear weapon. We have international unanimity around uh, an inspection regime mm -hmm. and, and a verification regime that is unprecedented. We've got mechanisms in place to make sure if they're cheating, not only do we uh, are much more likely to catch them, but we can also immediately put back the, the sanctions. sanctions that we've got. Right. And you know, when you hear the critics talk about, well, it's a bad deal, we could have got a better deal. Mm -hmm. You then ask them, well, what represents a better deal? Right. What is it that you think uh, could happen? 